Hey guys, welcome to another Ball Guy Side tutorial, and this time we're going to be taking a look at Tinkercad 3D printing again, but some of you may have a MakerBot, some of you may have been overwhelmed by my your first 3D print and really want to start with something easier. Now, if you hadn't seen that video, go ahead and check it out right there, but if you were here because that was a little bit too hard for you, I'm going to help you out with Tinkercad, uh, but also with something called Thingiverse. Maybe you're not ready to make your own first 3D print, you're just ready to grab something, print it, and learn from there. Basically because this is December 2021, it's Christmas week, I wanted to make a tree design. And I wanted to make like one of those slide together, pop out of the ejection mold things that I grew up with in the 80s, and so this is what I started with. And I'm gonna go ahead and tinker this. Uh, I'm in Tinkercad, but it just did not work out great. So um, in Tinkercad, really what I wanted to do is I wanted to look at what someone else had already done and learn from that. You know, in school we call this cheating, but it's not. It's just being resourceful and crowdsourcing. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to Thingiverse and look for a Christmas tree ornament and see if it's there. Now, Thingiverse is connected with MakerBot, so this is a really great connection here. If you have a MakerBot account, uh, just log in. If you don't, just so make one there free. Okay, so here we go. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top here and I'm just going to type in Christmas tree. And I could add a ornament. I think I spelled it wrong, but we're good. So the one I'm looking for, awesome injection molded pop out build it yourself, nostalgic. Got it. Here we go. So a quick word of warning on Thingiverse. It is so easy to get lost in the millions and millions of things that other people have made and put up there. Uh, for example, the, the buckle I'm on my backpack straps broke. There's one on here. You can download it, print it, fix the one you have. Uh, you're good to go. So it's crazy what people have thought up and invented to solve problems. And that's the point we want to teach kids. So uh, this is the thing that I want to download and print. But I also want to look at it um, and see what I'm doing wrong so I can figure out. This one's designed a little different than the one that I have. It has an X in the middle um, instead of just those slots that stack on top of each other. So I'm going to go ahead and download all files. Now, when you do this, you're going to be, you know, you're going to have to wait. I already did that, so I'm going to kill it. Um, but you could go to the customizer and that's where you get a chance to like, maybe you don't want that pop out board um, frame all the way around it. You just want to print it. Uh, maybe you want to make some changes. I don't know. You could also remix it. I haven't played around with that too much. It's just making some changes on your own. You can see the pictures down at the bottom to get an idea of what it's going to look like in your slicer printer program. And then maybe you could figure uh, out what you want to do there. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder and open this up and see if we want to tweak it in Tinkercad or if we just want to print it. Okay, so once you go in here, you're going to notice that you open up your zip file. You have images and files. I'm going to go to files because what I'm looking for is that STL, Christmas tree ornament version 10.STL. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and that's the one I want. And in Tinkercad, uh, if I wanted to open this up, I would just go back to Tinkercad, whoops, at the very beginning. And I'm going to create a new design. I don't need to do this because it's actually already done for me, but I'm going to import, I'm going to choose that file, and then I'm going to open it up. All right, so here's where I get to decide if I want it scaled at 100%, millimeters, whatever. I'm just going to leave it alone because it should be good. Okay, so it's in there. The only reason I would do this bringing it into Tinkercad is if I wanted to make some changes, maybe I wanted to stretch it out, add another layer, or just learn by taking some measurements with this little guy up here. To be honest, since this is ready to go, I didn't need this step, and I'm going to go back to MakerBot. All right, I'm on the MakerBot website. If you already have their software downloaded and installed, you're good to go. But if you don't, it's free, but they do make it a little bit of a pain to find. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to go to support, and then we're going to drop down to software. Now in this section, what they're trying to push you towards is the cloud print service that they offer. But if you scroll down, it's kind of, uh, you know, nondescript right here, download the MakerBot print software, and you can select, you know, your OS, and then hit download. I've already got it, um, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Now, for a 3D printer, these are really called slicers, and basically they just set up the file that the printer understands. So, okay, so I'm in the MakerBot uh, print software, I'm just gonna go to file, and I'm gonna drop down to insert STLs as assembly. This is what we're looking for. So I clicked my insert 
STLs as assembly. I'm in my downloads folder in the Evergreen. I'm going to go to files now. And I want this Christmas tree version 10 STL. I hit open and it's going to pop it right down in the middle. Now, the only reason you do this is just to make sure this is your print bed right here, that this is all going to print the way you want. Now, you can click on it. You can move things around. Um, I don't need to. I'm good to go. So down here at the bottom, if you're going to use a flash drive, what you want is replicator plus offline but i'm going to go ahead and click that and i'm going to say add a printer just so you get to see this process so it's probably yours might be networked you might have an ip address um, i'm just going to say mine's not connected so this way you can work wherever you want and you don't need your machine tied to that thing until this print is done because some of these prints might take hours so i'm going to go ahead down through and look for i have a replicator plus there it is all right and I would select that and then it's basically ready to go. So it says export only and shows a picture of the flash drive. Giddy up, that's what we need. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit export and it's gonna say, hey dude, where do you want this? Cause I don't have this plugged in yet. So USB drive is in and I've actually named this drive 3D printing. So I'm gonna select that. And we want this to save as Christmas tree. I'm just going to say not Z because this is not my design. I just want to know what it's going to look like and then I can tinker with it later. Tinker. See what I did? So now what it's going to do is going to slice it, gives me this time, and it will actually tell me how long the printer is going to take to print it. So cue elevator music. Okay, so now basically what it's telling me is that with PLA, which is what I had in my setup here, um, that it's going to be done at 116 PF, four hours. Uh, wow, so that's going to take a long time to print. Not exactly sure why. Okay, so I've got it saved to my USB drive. I sliced it all up, downloaded all that stuff is good to go. Now what I need to do is just eject the drive and then we'll head over to the printer. Okay, so we're just going to stick the USB drive in. Uh, man, I hate these things. And we're going to click on print. You just push in on the dial and it's going to ask you if you want to print a file stored on USB storage. Yes, I do. Go ahead and hit that one more time. And there it is. Christmas tree, not Z. I'm going to hit print. And then it's just going to heat up the bed and go. You may notice some painters tape down here because that helps it adhere to the bed a little bit better. Hey, so if you found this helpful and interesting, I'm really curious, what did you find on Thingiverse that was awesome that you downloaded and printed? What have you built in Tinkercad that you thought was really fun? What are your students working on? How are you using 3D printing in the classroom? Uh, super interested in that and drop it down in the comments. Until next time, I'll see you.